Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, we are going to look at a bunch of different products. Um, the star of the show, of course, is going to be the new Fenty Concealer. Uh, this is a new concealer by Rihanna's brand. So we're going to take a look at that. And then um, I saw a foundation that went viral by Glamzilla, and it's this Laura Mercier Weightless Reflecting Foundation. Um, when I saw that it went viral, I thought, I think I have a sample of that that I got from Sephora in one of my uh, orders, and lo and behold, I did have one, and I was going to review this for you anyway, but now that it went viral, what better time than now to review it. Um, I also have an Il Maquillage, I don't know if I'm saying this the right way, but Il Maquillage, I have uh, one of their um, eyeshadow quads. I don't think I've ever tried anything from this brand, so I thought it's a good time to give this a try. Um, I have a new uh, Milk Makeup um, Cheek product. This is gonna be a blush that we're gonna use. I have a couple of Sephora collection products that I picked up during the last Sephora sale. Um, this I'm really interested in, in seeing how it works. And I haven't tried one of their eyeliners uh, yet. I love the Sephora collection, so I'll probably really like this. So I thought it'd be fun to try this out with you today. I also got a new Huda loose powder. This is, I have one of her loose powders, but it's in a different shade and from this one. So I thought we'd give this one a try. Um, I also have a tattoo liner that I got. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use one or both of these. And then also for uh, lips, I have a new Kylie Cosmetics. I haven't tried anything from her new uh, formulated brand. And I heard that these are really good. This is her um, lip shine lacquer. So I picked up one of these and then um, we're going to use a new ColourPop liner. I think these two will go uh, together well. And I also got a KVD palette that I picked up and this was, it was either on sale or I had a coupon or something and it looked really pretty. So I want to try this too. And then for bronzer, we're going to just use a Say bronzer that I've had. So that's a rundown of everything that we're going to do. And we're just going to get into it so the video isn't too long. Um, I already have my face prepped. I don't need to do um, SPF today because uh, we're going to dinner with some friends. And so it's going to be dark by the time I go outside. Uh, so let's just get started on the face here. We're going to start with the foundation. Um, I am going to continue to use this e.l.f. color corrector. This is for light to medium, and I'm just going to um, cover up some of my um, trouble spots that I have here. I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks, and so um, I would do this anyway um, if I was going to be, because this, this, um, foundation that we're going to use is not a full coverage foundation. And so either way, I would be looking to do a little bit of uh, spot fixing there on those, those, uh, those spots. So I'm going to start there. And then let me give you a little bit of, so that's what the bottle looks like if I had had a bottle of it. I believe it retails for $48. Um, it's called the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. It says, redefining, perfecting coverage. This long-wearing foundation blurs the line between makeup and skin to reveal a healthier-looking complexion. This skin-loving formula provides a perfecting, medium-buildable coverage so weightless you'll forget you're wearing anything at all. All-day wear, natural finish, medium-buildable coverage. It comes in... 30 highly perfecting shades. Um, what shade did I get? You know, when they give you samples, they only have like so many. And I just, I went with the one that I thought would be the best for me. And I don't think the sample says the shade. Yeah, I, unfortunately the sample doesn't say what shade it is. So I just went with what I think is, it says sample, liquid foundation. Uh, well, it's made in Italy. 
Oh, two and one cashew. Okay, so that's that's the uh, sample that I got. I want to say there was only like five samples available to choose from. And so there's the little bottle. It looks very light. And I'll be honest with you, I have tried this foundation. I definitely have thoughts about it. But let's go ahead and start applying this. And you can see the shade right there. It's a little light for me but that's okay, we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, okay, so we're going to, because it's a medium buildable coverage and I already know like what kind of coverage I'm gonna get from this, I just, you know, I put a lot on and I'm gonna use this IT um, Cosmetics Foundation Brush, it's clean, and I'm just gonna like stipple this in. So, when I tried this on and I just used my fingers, um, it really sheared it out. And I also, I also didn't put as much on my, my face as I did just now um, when I tried it. Uh, I just wanted to like, you know, see how it was and kind of see what the hype was. And, and I didn't really give it like, probably didn't give it a fair chance because I really just you know, I really just like, I just lightly put it on and I didn't really probably apply it like I should have. Um, so I can see already that I'm getting a bit more coverage than I did when I tried it, you know, just to, just to see how it would look. So it is a medium coverage. I could see the camera is like a little out of focus here. Um, so it's a little, you know, it's not, it, you don't get a lot of coverage with this. It says it's medium and I would agree with that. But it feels nice. And probably if I had the right shade, I might, I might like it a little bit more. Um, but let's, uh, let's get the rest of this on. When I saw Glamzilla put this on, I could see why everybody was going crazy when they, when they saw her video. It looked, to me, it looked a lot more it looked a lot more like full coverage. You know, she went like this, you know, like kind of like did these three thick things down the side of her cheek. And I was like, wow, that, that's, that looks really nice. You know, I'm not getting that kind of coverage from this. Um, this is to me, this is kind of sheer. Um, all right, now let's see how it builds up. It says it's buildable, so let's see what it does. So you just saw me apply it. I'm gonna go ahead and go over it now. And I'm gonna do another layer. And I'm trying to kind of like stipple rather than go like this, you know, this way I'm not like kind of, I'm not shearing it out too much. Okay, so I can see that I definitely got some more coverage now. Let me bring that down my neck a little bit here. Okay, so here's this side where I've done more than one layer, right? And here's this side. So I can see that I've definitely got more coverage on this side. So to even it out, I'm gonna do the other side. My dog is in here, if you, <laughs> my Boston Terrier. She just turned one on the 16th, so. <laughs> um, we had a little, pot pie for her and 
and sung her happy birthday. And of course she, she loved the, uh, the little doggy cake. But that's her making noise in the background, if you can hear that. Um, okay. So the shade isn't bad, but I probably would have gone for, if I was going to buy this foundation, I would go for a darker shade. I think this is a little too light for me. It's not bad, but okay. So that's how this foundation is looking, um, you know, applied with an it foundation, it cosmetics foundation brush. And let's move on. Okay, you could tell me what you think about the shade and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the rest of my products. I'm going to go ahead and do some contour. Um, I'm using the Milk uh, Contour. And I'll list all the names and the shade names and stuff in the, as I always do in the description box below in the video if you're interested in any of these products that I am using. Okay. And then um, we're gonna do for, um, we're gonna do some um, bronzer. And we're gonna go in with the Sun Melt. This is the medium bronze from Say. And here's how that shade is looking. Now I really like this product, but the shade that I really wanted when I purchased this, it was, I think it was during, it was probably during one of the Sephora sales. I think they were out of the lightest shade. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just I'll just get the medium. Um, but I, pro if they would have had it, I would have gotten the lighter shade and I don't, I don't know the name of it, but I knew the medium would, would still work for me, but, um, and it's fine, especially when you have, you know, a foundation like this, that's a little light for my skin. Um, it just, it gave it some nice warmth. I really like this product a lot. Um, I know that NARS has a product like this and there's people that really love it. And I don't know if they love it because of the formula or they like that lunar or that whatever that Laguna shade is or whatever that everybody likes from them. But I'll tell you, the Say is really nice. And I believe Say is clean beauty. So um, if you wanted to give that a try, I really like it. Okay, let's go in now with the Milk. Uh, cheek product. This is new for me. There's the shade right there. And I'm just trying to power through this quickly so we can get to the star of the show here and why you probably clicked on the video. And as you can see, I'm just using my hands to apply some of these products. Um, I have a lot of tools. I have a lot of sponges. I have a lot of different brushes, but I'll be honest with you. Sometimes when I'm just trying to like pretty much do like a quick look or whatever, like, or I'm just using like cream products and stuff. Sometimes I'll just use my fingers. Sometimes I think that's just the best way to go. That's a really pretty shade. I really like that. Okay. So that's that. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put on some Rare Beauty. This is the eyeshadow primer. I really like this eyeshadow primer. I had switched off in the last few videos and I was using some of my other ones in my, in my stash here, but I'll tell you, I really... I really like the Rare Beauty a lot. That's what that looks like. Um, I also want to go in and I'm going to do my eyebrows. I usually do my eyebrows off camera. And I might actually... 
I might actually edit this part out, but we'll see. I'll tell you what, I really like it. I think it's a, a really nice product. So if you haven't tried the Give, it's really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the eyes now. Um, sound off below if you've tried anything from Il, Il Makage or Il Makiage. That's the brand. I don't know anything about this company. Here's the color story we're gonna work with. This is a really nice color story, actually. Nice neutral palette. I'm gonna go in, we're gonna do, we're just gonna lay the lightest shade all over. As you can see, I'm just powering through this pretty quickly here. It's got like a nice component. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go in and without anything on, I'm not adding any more pigment or anything, I'm just gonna go around and just soften these edges a little bit. And then I also picked up this KVD palette. I thought it looked really interesting. Um, let's see what it says here. It's called the Surreal Bloom Metallic Vegan Eyeshadow Palette. I see metallic and I, I get excited. I love metallic eyeshadows. And here's what the packaging, it's, it's like a tin. And then here's what the shades look like inside. Very pretty. Let me give you some swatches here. Oh wow, that blue, I could already tell the blue is gorgeous. The purple. Yeah, so there's the swatches of that palette. looks really good yeah um okay so I will what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this very light shade here it looks almost like it has it looks like it has a little bit of a shift and I'm just going to tap that in the corner there see how that like bumped that up it like just kind of like illuminated that whole corner. Yeah. Really pretty. We'll have to play with this more. I'm really glad that I got this palette. So there's another look at that. Okay, so before I do my or no, let's do the eyelashes. Okay, so for eyelashes, since we're doing Fenty concealer, and I'm gonna have to just, hang on one second. I had to plug my phone in. So I'm gonna use the new Fenty, um, the new Fenty mascara. It's called Hella Thick. I really like this. Okay, so here is the Fenty on. And now here is a swatch of the Sephora. This is the Sephora uh, Collection Crayon Long Lasting Cold Pencil. The shade is dark brown. So I am just going to line the corner, bring it out a little bit. I said I really like it. Okay, and then um, we're gonna go ahead and try this Sephora Collection Highlighter. So the shade is Golden Hour. Um, or the name of it is Golden Hour Highlighter Duo Number One Full Moon. So this was the lightest one, and after the um, after the percentage off, this was like three dollars. I'm not even joking. I think the Sephora girls were running over there to grab it, 
after they saw how inexpensive it was when they rung it up. So there's the shades right there. So it's right on the corner there. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my Refer 20, my fan brush, and I'm gonna start with that shade right there because the other one is like more um, like shimmery. So I just wanna see how these different Okay, so this one, this side is a little bit more, I guess like, it's not as like shiny. The other one is more, let's see what this one, oh yeah, see, see what happened there? This one is more kind of like iridescent. It actually gave me like a little bit of a stripe there. Let's see. Yeah. So you can see how I really got a lot of payoff on this one side, but now I'm gonna, we're gonna use the Fenty uh, concealer now. So that's gonna, that's gonna change. But this is really nice for $3. Can't go wrong there. Okay. So now we're gonna do the star of the show which is the Fenty Concealer. Let me give you a little information on this concealer. Um, I know that it has 50 shades. It's called We're Even Hydrating Concealer. I got the shade 240N, it's $30. Um, it says, uh, do less, but get more, uh, wear even hydrating long wear concealer. The ultimate makeup meets skincare hack. It melts into the skin, instantly evening, brightening and hiding dark circles and puff puffiness for up to 12 hours available in 50 buildable medium coverage shades with second skin finish. Tell me more. Buildable medium coverage with a natural uh, second skin finish. Extreme long wear formula that resists creasing, fading, sweat, and humidity. Hydrates and brightens instantly. Lasts up to 12 hours. Um, it improves dark circles and puffiness. It won't settle into fine lines or accentuate skin texture. It's transfer proof, waterproof non-comedogenic and no flashback. And I think I told you it's $30. And I got shade 240N. I have been wearing this. I've been using it all week to test it out before we actually like reviewed it. Um, I think I probably could have done a slightly lighter shade, like, like 225N. So here's what the component looks like. So it's kind of, it's on brand with her um the shapes that she does with her packaging. It's it's plastic, it's lightweight. And then the doe foot has this has like this like real arch. You could see it up against my black shirt. And then here is a swatch of the color. I had heard the colors were kind of peachy. So that's a little bit darker than I like my concealer to be. I like it to be like a little bit brighter. But um, so I might actually exchange this. It's not bad, but that's how it looks. And it's and usually my concealers are lighter. This is a little on the peachy side. And maybe because it's supposed to help your your fine, I mean, your dark circles. Maybe that's why there's a peach undertone to it. But let's go ahead and, um, and you know, get this on now. Let's blend this in. What I like about this is you don't need a lot of it. I mean, I literally just tapped a little bit in here. So 
so you can see. Um, once you get it blended in, the shade is fine. I mean, you, you know, you guys can sound off in the comments what you think of the shade. Um, but like I said, if, if I want to brighten, if I want like more brightness, I would probably drop down to like the 225N. Um, because you could see how peachy that shade is. And there it is again, right there. The thing that we're going to do, um, I've got a new, um, ColourPop liner. This came in, I bought like one of those, uh, holiday sets from ColourPop that came, I think it was like the browns or the nudes and it came with like three lip liners. Cause I like their lip liners. I think they're nice. And this is uh, a new shade I'm going to be testing out because I haven't used this one yet. At least I don't think I have. Let's see. This is BFF2. And then the Kylie is the Kylie Jenner Lip Shine Lacquer. The shade is 90s Baby. So here's what the new packaging looks like. And there's a swatch of the color. Wow, when I mm, when I put those two together and they look kind of, I don't know if that's gonna look good. Actually, I think I need to change. I, I think I have to change this. Okay. Let's see. I think that one might work better. What do you think? Um, but we'll do we'll use that another day. Um, anyway, so this is the finished look um, using the Fenty concealer and the Laura Mercier um, viral uh, foundation. And then I mean, basically everything that I used on my face except um, you know, what we didn't use, we didn't try this, this powder. Let's just try that really quick. This will be the last thing that we do. Okay. I probably poured out a little too much. That's what the shade looks like. And I'm just going to let's use the this is one of those beauty blenders that I see a lot of people using when they're just like pushing the product in. Yeah. So that's pretty. I don't use a lot of powder on my face, but I really like that. I like the way that set. You have to let me know what you think. It took down that shine, which is really nice. So that's the banana bread shade um, in the, uh, the Huda. I just buy these little ones now because... I find when I buy, because I don't use a lot of powder, when I buy those big ones, they it's just, it's wasteful for me. So, but that's this one. I haven't tried her pink or her peach one, um, but I think in the future I would like to try those. If she makes the small version, the peach, maybe I'll give that a try. Um, but this is the finished look. Um, you'll have to let me know um, what you think. Um, I, you know, like I said, I, this is a 10 out of 10, really like this. Like I said, I might just try the 225, just go up like a shade uh, just for that brightness, but I still think this one works. Um, and the Laura Mercier, uh, I think this is really nice, but I would uh, I would get a, a darker shade. This is, this is okay, but I definitely would go you know, I would go a bit deeper if I was going to buy the whole, like a, a bottle, like buy the full size, I would go for something deeper. Um, this is uh, fantastic that the milk cheek products are great. Um, I'm a big fan of their contour. So I've been using that for a while. 
and uh, and the elm note maquillage, I if I could say that right, uh, I thought this was really nice, and um, and I also really liked the um, the KVD metallic, even though I only used one shade out of it. I think those shades are gorgeous, so I'm looking forward to using more of that. Uh, I thought the uh, Sephora uh, liner is really nice. And I also liked the highlight. I thought this was really nice too. And the Kylie is really nice. I could hardly feel it on my lips. It's very lightweight. So I think that was everything that was new either to me or to, um, to the makeup world. And so um, sound off below. Do you think you're gonna give the uh, Fenty a try? Did this help you uh, decide if you wanna give it a try? Uh, sound off and let us know. And if you did try it, uh, what do you think of it? Let us know. If you're not already following me, please hit that subscribe button. Join our little makeup family. Follow me over on Instagram. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And it helps me figure out what you really like to see in terms of content. So that's the end of the video, my friends. I wanna thank you for giving me your time and watching this video today. And I'll see you soon.